In this short tutorial, you'll learn how to properly export both the model as well as the textures and materials attached to the models into Unreal Engine 5.3 from Blender. Now, why am I making this tutorial is because there's been a few issues that I've seen not too many people actually resolve on their own or in a video. So if I were to select my object with a material and go into the shade editor, which our material is located, Sometimes, when exporting it to Unreal Engine, certain nodes will not export, such as one of these texture nodes, as well as like nodes like this invert, or this normal map node. And for this especially, this is not a roughness, this is a gloss map, but for gloss maps, you need to invert it typically, before putting it into the roughness map, as it's basically the opposite. Now, how does this export properly into Unreal Engine? There's a few certain things. First off, Make sure that your uh, object is selected so it's easier to find the hierarchy. I just set mine to head to and then the plane is the same thing. But both of these have the same material, by the way. So when I edit one material, it'll edit the other one as well. Now, another important thing is to make sure you press A to select all of your objects in the scene, or at least the objects that you want to select. If pressing A doesn't work, you might want to double click A and that'll work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to File and then Export and then export it as a .fbx file. First off, we're gonna save it to where we wanna save it. For my sake, I'm gonna save it to the desktop and I'm just gonna call it Z11 whatever, I don't know, Z111. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna increase this file a little bit bigger, but we're going to go to path mode. If this is set to auto, it's optional, but typically sometimes there's problems. Make sure it is to copy the path node or the path mode, and then make sure that this icon is selected. This will copy everything into from our file, including the materials and our textures into the FBX. So make sure that is set to copy and this icon is set to blue. Next, we're going to limit to selected objects because the selected objects that we selected is going to be exported. Now, these next few steps are optional for you to do. Under geometry, if you have any smoothing on, make sure to change the normals from smoothing to face. My sphere is the only thing in the scene that has smoothing on, so I'm going to change it to face. Sometimes it will be set to face by default, so you can leave it. If you have any modifiers and you want to apply it, make sure you click apply modifiers. And then I'm going to turn off baked animation since there's no animation. And because my models don't have any armature or bones, I'm going to deselect add leaf bones under armature. Now that everything is good, I'm going to export the .fbx. Now everything will be exported properly and we're going to open up Unreal Engine 5, the game editor. Now, I have nothing in the scene obviously for the sake of, well, this, um, this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to delete those I don't know why those are there but real quick how to add them now is if the hierarchy is not open press control and then spacebar on your keyboard to bring up the hierarchy and then we're gonna go to import and then we are going to find our model and then import it as an FBX now real quick there are a few things that you need to keep in mind that are selected over here in the material tab it might be closed it might be open but in the material you want to make sure search location is set to local create new materials is set and then you want to make sure import textures is checkmarked sometimes this will be selected by default but if it's not make sure that you have these selected everything else is optional i'm just going to have it set to build nanite and then generate mission collision even though it's not gonna i'm not gonna play in the game now don't press import but press import all to import every single thing from your model or your file into unreal engine now here's how you know if you did it correct your models will be gray if it has not imported properly. Sometimes it might take 30 seconds, depending on your computer, to load. But if it hasn't by then, it means you skipped a step or you did something incorrect. Go back into the video. Now, we need to make sure that the material was imported properly. So we're going to double click on one of our objects. It doesn't matter which one. And then we can see that it's very reflective, which is not how our concrete works. But it looks kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. So how to fix this is we're going to double click the material icon right over here and it's going to open up a node editor similar to Blender's node editor. Now let's separate all of these real quick. How to make sure that you have the materials, uh, the right textures in. You can just select the image and then see if it's corrected right over here. Mine is the reflection or the specular map. Now sometimes it's a problem in Unreal Engine where it will be missing an image texture at, or the 
image is selected to the wrong one. My reflection map should be connected to the specular map, or your specular map should be connected to the specular map. Since it's connected to roughness, I'm going to right click on it and press break this link and then reconnect the output of the texture into the specular input of, well, our equivalent to the principal shader. Now that's applied properly, but we're still missing our gloss map. Now keep in mind that one, your normal will be fine. You don't need a normal node running. You can just plug it in straight raw. And two, my gloss map is not a roughness map. I get my textures from polygon.com, but the gloss map, you have to invert it, like I said, in Blender. So real quick, we're gonna press control space to bring up our hierarchy and then look for our texture. As you can see, that for whatever reason, did not import all of the textures. This is sometimes normal. So I'm just gonna real quick and find the texture on my desktop and I will import it and cut the video. Okay, now that I imported my gloss map, which should be my roughness map, I can now add it in by dragging it into the node editor like this. And now in order to invert it, because if I plug it in raw, as you can see, it will make it completely glossy. And that is incorrect. So let's click, let's break this. And then instead of an invert, because there is no invert node called the invert node in Unreal Engine, we're going to type in one minus, which is something I don't see a lot of people talking about online or at least in tutorials. Now this in Unreal Engine just takes the first value and then subtracts it. Uh, basically, it inverts the values. So if it's, uh, for example, with materials, if it's white, it'll turn it to black. So let's plug it into the input of the one minus and then plug the output into the roughness. And as you can see over here, it imported properly. Let's double check all of our nodes real quick. I'm going to select it. This is the gloss map correctly inputted. This is the reflection map properly inserted. And then this is the normal map inserted. Perfect. Now we can X out of this and make sure that you save by the way, otherwise your changes will still be incorrect. And if we try and drag in our models into the editor, as you can see, now it is properly imported. Very nice. You can see the depth of the textures and that is how you properly export materials from Unreal Engine into Blender. I hope you do enjoy this tutorial or you found it useful. If you did, leave a like on it so that more people can find this in their recommendations if they need help or the search. And if you're new to the channel, I make Blender tutorials mostly on materials, procedural, whatever. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you had any problems following this, be sure to comment below. I will try to respond to you as soon as I can. Or if someone else in the comments is faster than me, then they might respond to you quicker. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.